hello lovelies you are welcome back to my youtube channel and to another online tutorial with jenny concept in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make a round band to band cap which has a detachable twisted frame and a pleated fan design attached to it if you are new to this channel and you are yet to subscribe to our channel please kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button and also do well to click on the bell icon which enables you to get notified whenever we upload new tutorials to all our old subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and for the support in today's tutorial the materials used include scuba fabric one yard will be enough for this design needing your scissors your measuring tape as well as your matching color of thread and needle and then other accessories and your gum for embellishment but that is optional this design which you are working on has the tuban cap and the design the tuban cap has the band and the base the design is two in one it has a twisted design and it also has this fan design attached to it now your twisted design can either have a handle for tying or it can have a loop at the back to help hold it in place and i'll be using scuba fabric for this design so i have my fabric cut out already i will start by stating out the measurement for each piece of fabric for the two band cap which has the band and the base this is the fabric for the band and the measurement for this is 4.5 inches by 23 inches so the length is 23 inches and the width is 4.5 inches then the base i have it also here the measurement for this is 14 inches from here to here is 14 inches and then the width is also 23 sorry the width from here to here is 14 inches why the length as the head circumference is from this end to this end so the length is 23 inches that's to say that the measurement for this fabric is 23 by 14. please always endeavor to have the length which is the head circumference cut across the most stretchy part of the fabric so that is it for this now coming over to the twisted design i'll be needing two pieces of fabric the measurement for each piece of fabric is 35 inches for the length by 13 inches for the width so you will cut out 35 inches for the length by 13 inches for the width twice two different pieces of fabric then, we have the fabric for the fan design which is attached to it at the back and this is it i have seven inches here the width from this end to this end is seven inches why the length the full length of the fabric is 25 inches but then this measurement depends on how full you want it to be so this is it and then for this piece i'm doing i'm not going to be attaching i'm not going to be attaching a handle rather i'm going to be attaching a loop when we get there you understand this better so i have a piece of fabric here this is eight inches by eight inches i'm supposed to be making use of my scuba fabric to also form the loop which is going to be at the back of the twist but then this piece of fabric i'm working with is a leftover piece of fabric from one of my previous projects so the fabric was not enough to give me the um, the fabric that i'll be using to cover the loop at the back so i'm going to be improvising by making use of my satin fabric but then if you are working on yours get a piece of fabric that will be able to cover everything so for this loop fabric the measurement is eight inches by eight inches so when we get there you understand what i mean better now coming over to the to band cap i'm going to be starting with the base and i have it here so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm also going to get my measuring tape and then I'm going to measure out four inches and then mark it. So that is it. And then I'll come down and measure another four inches. 
and mark it. Then I'm going to get my ruler to extend the markings. And then I'm going to fold this end. I'll pick this fabric, fold it this way, and then sew from this end down to the other end to clip it kind of. Then as soon as I'm done with that, I'll pick this second line, fold it down, and then stitch it from one end down to the other end, and then I'll get back. So right here I have my work and I folded this end. I had to sew down along the max line. I also went again further down this end and I've sewn along the max line. So this is the fine side of my fabric. You can see the pleats in here. That's what makes it a bit different from the regular round band to band cap. So I haven't done this. I'm going to get my band and then I'm going to be folding the band into two and I'll be placing it on the fine side of my fabric. So folding my band into to the wrong side should be inside and the fine side should be outside and I'm going to place it on the fine side of my fabric this way and then I'm going to go back to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch from this end down to this very end. Right here I have the wrong side of my fabric. This is the band and I've been able to sew it from one end to another. So when I flip it over to the fine side, this is how it is. Then the next I'm going to be doing I'm going to be folding my fabric into two equal halves this way. So I want to position it down. After doing that, I'm going to get my measuring tape and then I'm going to measure out four inches from this side. And then six inches from this side. So from here to here, four inches, from here to here, six inches. Then I'm going to go ahead to make a curve. So I'll curve this end from this marked line, end of this marked line, down to the end of this marked line. And having done that, I'll get my scissors and then cut, cut it off. So I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and then I'm going to be sewing. So I'll start sewing from the band. I'll stitch it down to this end and then curve it to this very end and I'll get back. This is my fabric and I've been able to sew it down so that from the band and I'll sew it down to this end. Next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be forming a, make, uh, making a running stitch in order to form the gathers at the back of the tuban cap. And then this running stitch is going to come immediately after the band. So the band is ending here. The running stitch is going to start from here, go through here, and then end here. For that, I have my needle and thread already knotted. It's doubled. So I'll start by passing my needle and thread in and out. So I'll do this until I get to the end. Then I'll secure my thread and cut off the excess thread. So this is it. After making the running stitch, I have it this way and I'm flipping it inside out. I have my round band to band cap ready. So this is it. Moving on to our twisted design. Remember that we'll be needing two different pieces of fabric to form the twist and I've cut it out already. The measurement for each piece of fabric is 35 inches for the length and 13 inches for the width. 35 by 13. So for my twisted design, this is what I'll do. I'll get my piece of fabric and then I'm going to be folding it into two. And then I'll sew down from one end to the other for each piece of fabric. So I've gone ahead to do that. And this is the first piece of fabric that I've sewn from one end down to the other end. And then I'll go ahead to turn this inside out and then get back. At this point, I have both piece of fabric and I've turned it inside out. And then this is it. So what I'll do is I'm going to fold in the edge and then gather it. And then I'm going to be tacking this down or tying them. But firstly, I want to hold it down 
I'm using this band of which you can, of course, use your thread in place of it to hold it. You can use your thread to tie it down or you tack with your needle and thread. So that is it for that end. And then you can either get someone to help you hold this end or place a very heavy object on it to help you hold it down. Because we are going to be forming the twist now. So for the twist, I'll just pick my fabric. And then I'll start twisting it. So this is it. I'll just start twisting it by placing one on the other until I get to the end. But then you have to tighten it. You have to pull it tight. I'm going to go back and then get someone to help me hold that end so that I can tighten it. But I'm just trying to illustrate how the twist is done. So right here I have my work. I've gone back to twist it and I've gotten to this end. So as you can see it's tighter. That is how it's supposed to be. It should be pulled tightly. And then this is it. So I'm just going to get my band again and I'm going to knot this end to help me hold it in place so this is it and I have my twist here the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting my needle and thread and I'm going to be tacking each end so that I can get off the band and then cover it up so I have my needle and thread and starting from this end I'll just start passing my needle and thread it's going to be bulky and it's not going to be easy but then it requires that you be patient so i'm just going to tag down this end patiently and gradually then i'll go again and tag this other end the same way so i'm going to go off camera to complete this and as soon as that is done i'll get back for us to continue so this is my work as you can see i've tacked down this end so i've taken off the rubber band i've also tacked down this end and i've taken off the band so i'll go ahead to tie this excess thread then cut it off then what i'll be doing is that i don't want to add a handle to my design so i'll bring down this end and bring down this end this way and i'll use my needle and thread to tack both of them together so i still have my thread i need to come out from here so i'll just start passing it I'll be going downwards and upwards until I secure these two ends together so as to form a des uh, my twisted design but this time around without a handle for time so this is it so I'll just go back to tack this down completely and get back as soon as I'm done so this is my work and I, I'm done tacking down this part and this is it now we're not going to be leaving this end this way because it's rough we're going to be covering it with another piece of fabric now to do that we'll be needing a scuba fabric and the measurement we're going to be needing is eight inches by eight inches and i have it here now the issue is that this particular fabric i'm using to work on this design is a leftover fabric from my previous project and i ran out of fabric so i did not have I did not have enough fabric to cover for the loop so in place of that i'm going to be improvising with my satin fabric so this fabric here is my satin fabric but please you are expected to use the same scuba fabric so what i have here is eight inches by eight inches and then i'm going to be folding it into two equal halves and i'm going to sew from one end to the other and after sewing i'll turn my fabric inside out and get back so this is it i'm done sewing down this end so I'm going to go over to turn my fabric inside out and I have it this way. I'm going to be placing the sewn part, this sewn part at the middle of the fabric. And then I'm going to get my twisted design. This particular part where we had sewn, I'm going to be placing the this loop fabric on it this way. Now I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch this down to close it up. So this is it and I've sewn down this end. I'm going to get my scissors and then I'm going to trim off this excess fabric. Then I'm going to turn this to the other side so that the sewn part is all hidden. So this is it. I've flipped it over to the back and then we have the sewn part 
um, moved over to the back part here. So this is how it's going to be. Remember that this satin is supposed to be scuba fabric, but I had to improvise since I, had, I no longer had any piece of fabric left. So this is, this is the twisted design. And with this now, the design is going to be detachable. So if you want it to be non-detachable, all you have to do is to place it on your tuban cap and then use a needle and try to tack it down to the tuban cap. But I want it to sweep. So the next thing we are going to be doing is that we are going to be attaching the design on it. For the design, I have my fabric here, 25 by 6 inches. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be pleating the fabric. Please watch me carefully. I'll start by folding it down. I'm going to be pleating it the way we pleat fan using paper. So I folded it down. And then I'll keep folding it down that way. Keep folding it down. Keep folding it down. Keep folding it down. And then I've gotten to the end. So this is it. Now I'm going to get my needle and thread. And I'm going to be tacking down this end. So as to help me secure it. But I'm going to be attaching this down to the twisted frame. So this is me now passing my needle and thread at the edge so that I have this as a design. So as soon as that is done, I've finished stacking and I've secured my thread and cut off the excess. This is what I have. And this is what we're going to be adding to our design. So I'm going to get the twisted design. Then you decide where you want it to be. Do you want it to be at the middle? Do you want it to be at the middle this way? Or you want it to be the side? Wherever you want it to be, you place it down there. And then we're going to go ahead to tack this down. So I want it to be at the middle this way. And we're going to be tacking it down. So this part here is going to be staying at the back. And we're going to be tacking it down gradually. So this is my design. I've tacked down the middle part and then I've also extended it and I've tacked down the left side. I'm going to go ahead to repeat the same thing and then tack down this right side. Remember that I earlier made mention that the measurement of this piece of fabric is 25 by 7. And so we pleated the fabric and then tacked it down before attaching it to the pleated frame. So I'm going to measure how many inches I left. Okay, so out of the seven inches, I left two and a half inches at the base, and then I tacked it down at the point where I have my 2.5 inches, and then it's at that 2.5 inches that I attached it to the back of my twisted frame so that you can be able to get it accurately. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue tacking, and then I'll get back as soon as I'm done tacking this. Down. So as soon as it's all done, this is it. And then this is the design attached to it. This is the front view. This is the back view. So this is it. And then I'm going to get my scissors. And then I will trim off this excess fabric that is coming out here. Then tack it again down to the base to fully secure it. So you can decide to embellish the back, probably the flower accessory and the flower accessory at the top. That's optional and depends on you. So I'm going to trim off this part with my scissors and then tack it down then i'll place it on my tuban cap 